Hello and welcome to my tutorial for making a daytime cycle with a skybox. First of all, we start empty like ever. So I'm gonna add a 3D object plane. And this is gonna be at position minus 50, minus 50, and then I'm gonna make it 100 on 100. This one is for me to get to find mid and every stuff. Where is my plane? There it is. So, okay, we have a plane here. Oh, damn it. And what do you need? I want a texture on it. So, I go to Asset Store and I take a free material ground. And I like this one. So, I'm gonna add this import and we're gonna wait. Yes, okay, import. This takes a little bit of time, but it's okay. We have the time. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. So this is done now. We're gonna take the grass texture. Six is good. I'm gonna take it for my plane here. And this is not nice. So we're gonna tile it up on 100 and 100. Uh, oops, wrong. Not here, but here. Now it's better. Mm. After that, we need a sun. I'm gonna use this directional light to make it a sun. Um, I should pack it together. Oops, uh, um, create empty. Sky. And uh, this is on a position minus 50. Zero. Minus 50. That's the mid of my plane here. And there I'm gonna put the light in it. So, okay. Zero. Rotation zero, zero. Great, and to have it at the right angle, I'm gonna take it like uh, this, and we're gonna rotate it to this. Is this correct? Wait, uh, yeah, seems. Okay, now uh, we are focused on this, like it should be. So, uh, for this, I'm gonna call it Sun. And I'm gonna change some stuff here. No shadows. I want shadows. Soft shadows. Yeah, okay. Um, intensity is okay. No texture. It's okay. Everything's okay now. And I need a moon. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna name it moon. Uh, this one should be at the same position. It's okay. Directional. Yes, yes. I'm gonna make it red. You can choose the color you want. You can take it blue. You can take it red. You can yellow it like you want. I choose red because I like it when the moon is red. And the intensity, it's not like the normal sun, so we're gonna make it a quarter. And we want shadows, yes, and we want the texture on it. So we have dry ground, grass. Let's check out. This seems to be nice for a moon of blood. So I'm gonna take this here. This is gonna diffuse a, a different light. The sunlight is like a spot, uh, a, free ref a clean reflection, and with using this cookie, we are gonna stop this this reflection. This is gonna be this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna show you. So m sun and moon are done. What we need what we need else is, yeah, the sky. So we are gonna import the sky sphere. This one, the sky sphere volume one is great. And we import them now, and we're gonna wait. Yeah, I made backup, I know it's okay. 
so we have the sky sphere. Okay, great. So what do we add now? We're gonna add the sky sphere mesh without cap because I don't want it closed. The cap is closed. I want it opened, and I'm gonna add it here. I am gonna call it sky top sun. Uh, what do we need? Uh, first animator we don't need. Remove. And I don't want shadows. I don't receive shadows. Uh, don't lights and reflection. So this is a clean image, in fact, which is rotating around. And we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna up we are put it on the sun. So position sun. Okay. Position this one. We're gonna make it here. We're gonna make a uh, rotation 90 and 0 and 0. But it's too small. Like this, it's it's a little bit too small. So we're gonna change it to 2000 and 2000. So now we have a nice capsule over our house here. And this is great, but I don't like the skin here. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna make it a uh, texture with planet. What do we have here? No, no. This seems to be nice. Yeah, we're gonna take this. Planet 2 on sky top. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna make a folder here for the prefabs. Ah, don't. Uh, create folder prefabs okay and I'm gonna drag it into it so and we're gonna create a second one and this is for the bottom the bottom have the same values like him just the difference has to be on the other side and as you can see both are cutting in here and that's not nice and this is changed by this one. I'm gonna take this one top higher and this one deeper. Is it still cutting? Yeah, a little bit. So we're gonna take it oops, one too much and this two minus. Uh, still a little bit. Uh, seems to be still a little bit together. That's Oh, I'm going... Where are I? Ah, okay. That effect is because of the camera. You should make the fur... As you can see, now I'm going to this. Here you can't see anything. And the closer you are, the better it is. I'm gonna take 50,000. Which is a lot, but okay. Oh, this is my grass panel. Okay, I see there it's not so nice, but it's working. Ah, let's let's make it a little bit higher. Um, it's better now. Okay, this is okay. With this, I can live. It's not per. Ah, should I? Should I? Should I not? I'm not happy with it. Ha! Oh, I did wrong way. And this is too much. I have this line here, so I have to get back to... I try this now. Up too close. Uh, tree. Ah, uh, nope. This seems to be okay. Ah, uh, it's closely, closely done. Ah, uh, it's okay. That's because of this and this. Upsa. Uh, like this. So now it's okay. 
I hate it when the values are not exactly. I gonna I gonna cheat a little bit, so we're gonna take um, this and this. So it's it's better now. It's closed cleanly. Um, yeah, we have the top sun there and the bottom sun. We're gonna add this here. Okay, and now we're gonna copy this and we want to make this the same for the moon same values and bottom sun bottom sun is not the same that's not clean so oh yeah because um hmm. I want it on top so Okay, this should be the same. I don't know why they are changing everything there. Okay, so sky top sun, sky top bottom sun, I'm gonna name them to moon. Moon. And we're gonna drag them together. Oops, uh, nope, it's not together. One after one. And one. Okay, and then apply. Apply. Apply and apply. So that's all for making Sun Moon and the Skybox. It's great like this, I like it, but it's not finished yet. Next we need to create a folder called scripts, because I like it like that. Uh, script is nope, not cool. <sighs> too much errors, too much errors. So. Okay, and then we're gonna create a script called day cycle. Is this written right? I'm not sure. Ah, it's okay now. Uh, we're gonna open this. So, we have nothing in it, and that's okay. We're gonna create everything now. Okay, this is not working. That's shitty. So we're gonna change this here. Gonna delete it. Create new. I gonna call it. Ah, oh, damn it! Not like that. Day time cycle. Okay, reload all. Blah blah. Okay, now we have clean system here. And so, with what should we start? We do need the collections, first of all. And then, variables. We have the public vector tree for the start position of the sun. And for the start position, moon. This is great. What do we need else? Time. Times, times. We need a float. Ah, let's let's have some 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 kind of uh, system here. We need the delay. How many times should the sun or the moon move? Okay, so we need a public float delay, and we need how far should sun and moon step? That means the steps and. For, I don't know, if you want for the night a monster, for the day monsters, or some events, you need bulls. And while we are creating this, it's easy to do this, so we're gonna do one for night and one for day. Because I like it like this. And I forgot to make a bull. So, so after we've done this, we need the game objects. We have the, the sun, we have the moon. We have the sun top, sphere, the sun bottom sphere, the moon top sphere, and the moon bottom sphere. Great. What do we need else? Yeah, we need the, t the uh, timer, which is working for us. So we need the time left. That's all. So, that's all that we need for this 
function. We're gonna start to position our sun at transform point local Euler point local Euler angles is equal to our start position of the sun. And the same we're gonna do for the moon. Transform Euler angle local Euler angle, sorry. Uh, local order angles is equal to the start position of the moon. And then we have to set up our timer. Time left. Um, is equal to delay. Great. So now what we're going to do at first is our timer should go down. So time left is minus equal time point delta time. This is working nice. When our timer is uh, time left is smaller than zero, then he should move the sun. And this means sun point transform point rotate ah that's not cool like this rotate and we want him to rotate for the x value so we give him the distance to go and this is gonna be fixed if you want the sky not just to turn around uh, in one direction you can make more uh, steps for the x, the, I the y and the z value, like you want. I prefer like this. Moon transform point rotate uh, the same. Okay, now moon and sun are moving. This is great, but we need to reset our timer. Otherwise, it will be down and down and down and. Um, will be never be back at start. So now our sun and our moon is moving but yeah we need some logic to define if it's day or night. So I don't know if you realize but the sun is not moving in 360 degrees. Okay first of all we have to add this compilers. Please don't. Ah, okay, we're gonna change something. We're gonna create a new one. That's a little bug. I created a script, new behavior script, and I changed the name here. And I think that's the problem. So I'm gonna call it um, day cycle. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Yes, we load all, and we have this here. We're gonna remove this, we're gonna remove this, and we're gonna copy paste everything here. Yes, it's okay. So this is now for here. And this can be closed, yes. And this is gonna be saved, okay. And uh, now we can remove the daytime cycle. Yes. So Sky, you have to manage this. The start position for the sun, when it's zero, then the moon has to be 180 degrees, for my case, like, you can even have multiple moons or suns like you want, you just need to add vectors and conditioning of start, the rest is full automatically. Here we want the delay as short as you want, uh, for a daytime of 10 minutes, I would say one second, one degree, like that. I'm gonna use it quick now here because I want you to show that the moon is wandering around. So this is okay. 
now we need to the sun this is sun this is moon sky top sky bottom sun there is an error there is an error let's change this mm, top moon top there okay and I'm gonna change this now because I don't like errors like this yeah reload okay yes and top sphere there and there mm -hmm. so this should be already done and come on show me show me and it's okay top sphere for the moon and bottom sphere for the sun and then we go let's try out what's happening it's moving it's great and yeah that's some kind of buggy as you can see we have some some strange particles here which means we have two skyboxes in the same time overlapping this is not nice we have to change this and oh yeah I wanted to show you other things I'm gonna deactivate them here just to show you you should be able to see the moon oh no you are not able because the Sun is too strong so how are we gonna solve this easy we're gonna go here and after the timer has got out it's okay so if the Sun point transform from oil angles um, point X is bigger then no smaller than 100 then do and I wanted to show why this is ah what I'm doing here wrong this one should be so um, I'm showing you why look at uh, this Sun here when I'm starting look at the rotation here it's going from 0 90 from start position to 90 and it's going back now the rotation is still a circle but it's going back down to 270 and from there it's going back to 90 again that means between 0 and 9 the Sun is above the zero line here we can see it for us it's day from 0 to 90 and all every value above 100 is the Sun down there for us easy to play we're gonna choose here this condition to say okay we have day that means we have day is true and night is false god damn what did I done false okay uh, else uh, where's my there uh, else day is false and night is true that was easy like this so what we want to do now is getting Sun get component of type light and we're gonna search for the um, intensity and we make it one in day so strong light and by night we are gonna make it zero so the Sun will not uh, shine from down and yeah to solve the problem with the double spheres means the one bottom sphere of the moon and top sphere of the Sun being together there we gonna uh, make the Sun top sphere set active to true and we're gonna make the sun top no button what sir set active to nah. what's wrong here this is wrong set active to true to too much errors here too much errors and we have to disable the moon top bot set active 
to false and the moon bot server to set active false great but we want this on the other side same for night inversed that means we're gonna make this false false and true and because I changed now a name of a variable we actually have to change it here too because it's, it's lost that's, that's some kind of yeah it sucks uh, sky sun sun bottom server is this one I'm uh, gonna enter it here and if you're gonna choose what we're gonna see now is the sun and the sky are perfectly moving and when it's changing to night now which should be when this line passes Zack Sun Sun spheres are disabled Moon spheres are enabled and around Zack Moon is disabled Sun is disabled to see it better I gonna change this here we have the same skin on it like yeah it's not cool we're gonna say change it we have here textures with planets I'm gonna take the red one I like this one this one 7 is great I'm gonna use this and this so apply and apply and now you can see better but the switch between sun day and night is not clean but as I did here you can do two for multiple spheres you can do as much as you want or even you can interlacing with different textures I have just these textures and for me it's good enough the daytime is gonna be really really slow and I have no problems with and now to make a little bit detail in it as you can see the Sun really shines here now and yeah that's not cool so we're gonna go there first the moon there's the moon I'm gonna switch that the moon is shining right on me mm, rotations should be zero okay Sun zero moon zero yeah it's saying oh no I'm, I'm online already okay sorry my fault so this is great now I gotta change this Yeah, this was great. So, uh, focusing sun, disabling moon to see what happened. That means sun is shining in this direction. Uh, I'm gonna switch this around like this. And there I have to turn around rotation, this one, as long as the sun is on the right position. There you go. Okay, bottom the same. Uh, now we have the sun here. Okay, and this is great. We're gonna apply this and apply this and disable sun. We're gonna enable the moon again and we're gonna do the same for the moon. That means here uh, is the moon shown on our picture. Uh, apply and here is the moon shown on our picture. There we go. We have two moons, which is some kind of strange, but for the light it's okay. I, If I had the perfect uh, match with the textures on it, I needed a texture for this one and a texture for this one, this would be nice, but on this it's, uh, it's okay. What I like on this system here I did is the great uh, system here that you have, you can have multiple scenes and multiple planets like this and from one planet to another you can have a like a god planet where you can see the other planets and you see them rotating changing daytime that's that's cool stuff that's what I like but if you don't use it uh, being in there is, is great enough for you as you can see here when you're in there you see nothing out there and that's cool that's, 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 that's amazing I'm gonna now add something just for checking how cool it is <laughs> I'm gonna add a 3d object cube not cool uh, game object cube is camera seeing it nope it isn't 
Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's so. And then 10, 10, 10. Let's see what camera sees. A big fat cube on the way. So this should be now uh, not great. That's okay to see shadows. I'm gonna move camera around. And turn a little bit like this. And there we're gonna see shadows and colors. And we should. Oh, my fault, my fault. I have to enable the sun again. Otherwise we have nothing. And we did wrong. Shadows are on the wrong side now. Okay, that's easy. Okay, so we have to get back here and disabling sun, moon. Uh, focusing moon on this, this. Turning around this again to the until we have this one here. Nearly mid. This one nearly mid. Okay. Apply. Apply. Same for sun, disabling moon, sun enable to see better and we should be now here and here. Okay, apply, apply and enabling the moon and testing. And now we have a nice sundown. Yeah, the sun is going down. Great. And the switch. And the moon has, as you can see, have a small red texture. Uh, it could be a little bit stronger. We're gonna, we're gonna make our moon a little bit stronger. We're gonna make it now 0, 5. Let's check out what happened. Today is okay. I'm really happy with it. And as you can see, the, su the light from the moon is already coming now, and everywhere is now this this strange light, red light. Yes, you can see it's focusing now here. That's exactly what I want. That's great. So, I hope you had fun with my tutorial and enjoy it. And thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.